Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So real quick, I wanted to tell you guys that when you're dealing with only one woman, all right, when you're dealing with only one chick, right, you got a girlfriend, you got a wife, even if you're just dating or hooking up with one girl and she knows that she's the only girl, right, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to be unattractive to that woman. You understand? You're going to be unattractive to that chick because you're only dealing with her. See, the thing is, you know, you hear women, they'll say, oh, I, you know, I want, I want to be the only one. I don't want him messing with other women, yada, 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 all that other craziness, right? You got to understand that what makes a woman attracted to you, right, is usually her feeling like she can be replaced or that you're going to, you know, want to like leave her for some other chick or whatever it is, right? Now, what happens is that when you are dealing with multiple women, right, that keeps the chick on her toes, right? Now, you shouldn't necessarily be dealing with multiple women just to try to keep the girl on her toes. But what happens is because you are dealing with multiple women, that keeps her on her toes. That's part of what makes her attracted to you. See, when you first start dealing with a girl, right? What happens is, is that she will usually assume that you're fucking with other women. Right, so let's say you started, you know, hooking up with a girl, dating or whatever. This is not your girlfriend. She's assuming that you're dealing with other women, right? Even when you first came up to her and approached her and interacted with her that first day y'all ever met, right? She assumes that you're, you know, you're a guy who's out there dealing with other women, right? So if she's feeling you, right? Part of what's making her feel you, part of what's was keeping her, uh, you know, really attracted to you is knowing that other women want you and sort of that fear that she can be replaced by another chick. But what happens is, is that when you're with one girl, she feels like she has you. And then when she feels like she has you, right? That sort of fear and anxiety about you, you know, leaving her for another chick is gone. And then therefore she becomes less and less attracted to you. You understand what I'm saying? It's 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 funny how it's funny how this happens. See, the thing is, you guys will listen to women. They'll be like, yeah, you know, like, oh, I I, I wouldn't, I don't want no guy that I like, you know, looking at other girls or talking to other girls and all this other stuff because yeah, that's the things that they say they want, but they respond to a guy who's dealing with multiple women. They respond to a guy who you know has a lot of chicks that he's dealing with because see. When you're just dealing with her, right? She's going to, you know, look at you like, okay, well, if you were an attractive guy, right? Other women would want you and you'd probably be dealing with those other women. You understand what I'm saying? So she's thinking, wait a second, if you're just with me and you're all up on me and you're, you know, acting like I'm the best shit since sliced bread or the best thing that has ever happened to you and you're just so all about me, right? That's making her look at you like, what's up with you? Like, why why aren't, you know, other women trying to get with you and why aren't you, you know, fucking with other chicks? What's going on with this, right? And see, on the surface, you're thinking, but come on, Mr. Locario, like, you know, I hear women all the time say, you know, that they'll be jealous. Yes, they would be jealous if you were dealing with another woman in certain situations, right? But see, it's the jealousy, it's that feeling that keeps her attracted to you. You understand what I'm saying? See, it's just the thought and the notion and the feeling of knowing that there's other women around. See, this is the thing. You don't even necessarily, let's say for example, because you might be like, well, Mr. Okari, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, 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 a one woman type of guy. You understand? Like, like I don't want to have to deal with all these women and all this other stuff. Okay, cool. You still at least have to be, let's say for example, you have a girlfriend. You still at least need to be out there flirting with other women consistently. So let's say you have a girlfriend, y'all in a monogamous relationship. 
right? You still need to be talking to women. You still need to be out with your boys. You know, on that Friday night, you hang out, you go with, get, go out with your boys, still interact with women, still talk to women, so you still have that, that energy. You understand that essence of a guy who's dealing with multiple women because that's going to keep you being a guy who she finds attractive. You understand what I'm saying? Because what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is that when you are just dealing with that one chick, you got that one girl you're dealing with, right? And she knows that she's the only one that you're dealing with, right? Then what happens is again, that feeling of, you know, like trying to get you is gone because she has you. See, the feeling of her striving to get you is the, the attraction. You understand what I'm saying? That's what keeps her attracted to you. The feeling of trying to get you to make her the only one, but she does not want to be the only one. You understand what I'm saying? It's the journey of trying to make it happen. But when she makes it happen, that's when all the shit is, is the attraction is done. It's done. You understand what I'm saying? And see, the thing is, sometimes they, they don't even necessarily know this, <laughs> you know, on a conscious level. You understand what I'm saying? So some of this is subconscious. They may, they may not even realize it. So you might show this video to a woman. She's like, come on, man, this guy, Lucario, he's bullshitting. I don't want no guy that I'm with, blah, 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 blah. But if you, you know, like talk to any woman who's ever sort of like really been feeling a guy, been obsessed with a dude, you know, uh, had strong feelings for a dude, it's usually a guy who either had other women that, that uh, you know, he was fucking with, or he was a guy who still was, you know, he was with her, but he was still interacting with and flirting with other women to give her that feeling that she needs to uh, continue to try to chase that guy. You understand? She, she, she has the feeling that I, I don't actually have him yet. You understand? Or I, I, or I will never have him, which keeps that attraction going. But as soon as she feels like she has you, that's when you become less and less attractive. You understand what I'm saying? See, it's like, look, you guys have to understand, man. You have to understand that what makes the woman attracted to you is that constant journey she's on to get you, right? But the thing is, is that once she reaches that destination, it's, it's over, you know what I'm saying? It's over. So you gotta constantly have her wanting to chase you, to constantly have her striving to achieve that goal of you being the only one that, uh, or you know, her being the only one that is with you, right? But you don't want her to feel like she has you. And the way that you make her feel like she doesn't have you is that you have to make sure that you're dealing with multiple women. You understand? And see, and, and this is the thing. You should be dealing with multiple women anyway because, you know, if you're a guy, you're a heterosexual dude, um, and you have that, that energy about you, you're going to want to deal with multiple women anyway. Um, but also the women that you're dealing with, the girl that you're dealing with, you know, your main girl, your main girls, you know, you still gotta, you know, definitely give them the respect, the tension and all that other shit that, that, that you need to do with them to keep and maintain the relationship. But understand that you don't ever want to get complacent and have her feel like she has you because once she feels like she has you, it's a motherfucking rap. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today.
Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.